Hello everybody, this is Mr. DSI Review, and today I'm going to be reviewing a 500 point DSIware title, and it is Antipole by Saturnine Games. Now this game was actually um, requested by the developers, and thank you very much to Saturnine for essentially sponsoring the review, because they gave me a 500 point DSIware code for it. And anyway, Antipole is actually not native to the Nintendo DSi. It first came out on the Xbox Live Arcade, and it's a little bit similar to the game VVVVVV, which, on a relate, on a slightly unrelated note, is actually coming to DSi sometime as well. But anyway, it's about manipulation of gravity, and um, you. In the first level, you get a gravity gun, and for a temporary amount of time, this allows you to change gravity, so instead you're walking on the ceiling. Now, the interesting thing about it is that it applies to enemies as well, so I suppose I'll show off the second level, maybe a few others as well. You also get a gun that you can fire with Y, you jump with B, um, and then you use your gravity gun with R, and you'll see this enemy here that jumps, Suddenly it sticks to the ceiling as well. So, you play as a mercenary type character, um, and you're trying to stop a robot army. To do this, you have to go through 20 levels with your uh, laser and your gravity gun, and you also have to fight four bosses along the way. Now, the levels, and in fact the game overall, are pretty short. But, I should mention that it's actually also pretty challenging. Um, there are a variety of obstacles that will get in your way. It's something like, I don't know, there were several types of enemies. There are, of course, these and the bouncy ones we saw. But then there's a variation of these. There's another one that is essentially a sentry. There's one that messes with your gravity field. And uh, a few others. One that drops bombs. Um, one that just appears and just... It's, it's really just there, except that it comes in swarms. I think that's all of them. And then, of course, the bosses. And, um... Along the way in the levels, not only will there be obstacles such as spikes here and moving platforms, later you also see electric walls, which are essentially the same thing as spikes, and even green slime, which is toxic and insta-kill. There are also these green coins here, and um, the idea is to collect as many of these as possible because with these coins you unlock levels in the challenge mode. Anyway, I suppose I'll finish up this level here if I don't die. Oh dear. Anyway, uh, that about addresses what I wanted to show off with that level. Um, like I said, there's a challenge mode. There's also a time limit that you know, it's like a goal time to reach. And then, as I mentioned, there are four bosses. Now, the first one's really easy. All you have to do is give him a few shots with from your uh, gun. But later, bosses get a lot more challenging. Oh, and you'll see this one actually messes with your gravity field. And every time you beat a boss, you get to extend the life of your gravity gun. Now, while I'm finishing the, this up, I should mention there's... Uh, Another mode that I won't be able to show off, and this is a bonus mode. This is for people who have purchased Kronos X2, which is uh, another... T oh, of course, sometimes that happens. You beat the boss, but then you die. You have to restart. Uh, but if you purchased Kronos X2, which unfortunately I haven't, um, then you unlock a bonus mode, in which case, in which uh, you can use the three weapons from Kronos X2 to go through the game. Um, I may or may not purchase Chronos X2 at some point in the future. If I do, maybe I'll throw up an annotation um, 
showing off the bonus mode in Antipole. Chronos X2, if you're wondering, is a side-scrolling uh, shooter, spaceship shooter, kind of retro-styled. Anyway, there are, as I mentioned, are challenges. Um, some of the some of these challenges include puzzles. For example, this first one, there's a key down here, but you can't reach it. So your goal is to get it to this door over here, and one way you can do that is by shooting the key, which will push it. You can also push blocks and uh, crates in uh, the same way or with your body. And so you push it into the door, then go to the exit, and huzzah. But then other challenges require you to simply go through an area, sometimes a very challenging area. For example, this one, the uh, part time for it is 20 seconds, except this is the green insta-kill slime that you have to be very careful about, like right there. Now, I may or may not have said it already, but I actually found this game to be quite challenging despite being pretty short. I've put maybe, I think a little over three hours of gameplay into this so far, and I feel maybe that's a little, it's a little short to be worth 500 points. But then again, I haven't done all the challenges, I haven't gotten all the coins, I haven't completed all the, you know, all the everything yet. So if I were to do that, I'm sure I'd easily make it over five or six hours. Um, yeah, five hours sounds about right, which is, you know, a pretty good um, price to playtime ratio there. Except for some people who like to buy a game, beat it, beat it, and then just move on, maybe this game isn't quite for you. Anyway, it's... Um, Gameplay is very smooth. It's pretty fast, too. Like I said, it's challenging, so if you're looking for a challenge, maybe this will be for you. Um, you can just pick it up and play a few levels at any time. Uh, it auto-saves, so you don't even have to worry about just quitting at any point. Um, because your level progress... Well, you won't show up in the middle of a level, but the levels you completed will stay complete. And uh, overall, it's very well made. The graphics are pretty nice. Obviously, they look nicer on the Xbox Live Arcade version, but uh, they look good here, too. I believe it was also supposed to get a PC release. I'm not sure if that's happened yet. It might have. Um, and then the sounds, sounds and music are also pretty nice, too. So overall, I do recommend this title if you're um, looking for an interesting game. Again, if you have ever played VVVVVV, then uh, maybe you'd like this game, if you like that. And uh, I suppose that's really about it. So if you like this review, please rate, comment, subscribe. Send this to your friends. Check out the written review on my website. That's mrdsreview.net. And uh, I will see you guys next time. And one more thing. I've been trying to make it a habit to update my website with new articles as often as possible, so whenever some significant Nintendo 3DS news pops up, you can basically expect me to write an article about it. I really encourage you guys to check it out on a daily or at least weekly basis or something like that. Sometimes news is just slow, but sometimes there's a lot for me to talk about. Anyway, that's about it, so see you guys next time.